today I am going to teach you some uh, tips uh, how can you draw how many methods you, know, you can draw um, geometry in a stat group as you can see, as you know in stat group geometry is the also known as a skeleton of the any structure the member and plates and slabs walls rough foundation which, whichever we need to analyze first we need to draw as a geometry there are three methods so that we can um, we can generate any model like uh, snap method uh, coordinate method structural wizard and copy based method copy based is not a method it's just a one kind of a creating geometry so firstly we need to open our software as a run as administrator so that all functions should be worked as a correctly after that we need to set uh, pre-defined unit configure we need to go configure for meter kilometer we need to click on metric for feet inches we need to click english as we are right now we are doing in kilometer and meter so we will click metric and after that apply accept suppose we are creating this one new project we have named as a s1 then as we have already selected it's been already selected as meter kilometer After that, as we can see, our first method is snap node method. Snap node method we can identify by its own name, snap node. Okay, here you can see one snap node cursor has been selected. We can make it off and on. Okay, here we can what we can do, we can drag it out by clicking the uh, mouse scrolling um, uh, mouse scrolling button. We can hold the whole thing. Now we need to draw. We need to click on this to whichever length we want to draw. After that, in y y direction. After that, in x direction. After that, again in y direction downward. See, we can have to move this one in this direction. So what we will do? We will simply go edit. After that, this is x and this is x and y. Okay, so if we need to draw this way, we need to draw, we need to make the plane as xz. If we need to make the whole plane in this portion, then we need to click on this option. After that, this option our whole grid will shift to top after that if we need to draw we can draw okay see if anything happen don't be worry just make, uh, press the escape button okay if the wrong beam has been created and simply switching the beam you can directly delete it after that we can simply unlock lock the button you will again again gain this uh, drawing option then we can simply drag to whatever we want you want to after that this way after that this way like that you are like you are drawing like that purpose after that you can draw in a way you want to so this is the one method and the one is coordinate method coordinate method is nothing but just you have to put all the things as coordinate see as we before did snap grid method we need to make it off after that there will be one option occur if we need to generate one node we need to click 0 0 0 
after that we need a uh, node at a distance of 5 meter then at a distance of uh, vertical distance of 0 and a z distance of 0 okay after that if we make need a if we want to make this way z direction then we need to click 0 0 5 here you can see one node has been popped out this way after that we need to create another node in this point so what we will need to do we will need to do one uh, node or uh, having a node diameter node length of 5 in x direction see how you can understand you can if you uh, select the node cursor you can simply click this one you can get to know or you can drag it drag it down so that you can identify uh, the node dimensions okay after that what you need to do you just need to click you just need to click 5 0 and in that way it's also 5 so then there will be one node occur after that if you need in this node in this node if you need another vertical node then what you need to do 0 5 0 okay if you need this point then 5 0 5 5 0 so sorry this one will be 5 5 5 and again 0 if you need in this point then what you need to do 0 not 0 you can simply add uh, 0 in this point you can add 5 and 5 here you can see if you want to join all these things automatically you can directly select the, all the nodes and after that um, after that you can simply go to select in parallel to x we just need to go Here you need to just drag down all the nodes after they go to geometry and connect the elemental axis then all y axis command will be connected after that connect beams along the y axis and all the y axis directed connect beams along z axis and like that way you can go into and strike to in node method okay After that, we are having another one like uh, structural wizard method. In the structural wizard method, we just need to go geometry, run structural wizard, and uh, after that, you just need to go in which model you want to create. Like we are, um, we're going to create frame model like Bay Frame. Then you just need to give all the detailed dimension like length, width, and height, and number of um, bays you want, like divisions you want in length, breadth, and width. You can also change the um, 
this dimension divided dimension like uh, in, in your in your way okay like we need to apply after that just simply click this button and yes and this is just the telling you just want to want to deploy the whole geometry in zero dimension or like you just want some upper dimension like from zero you want some rising dimension like zero to five something sort of after that your um, drawing grid will be converted drawing um, will be con converted to this area after that you can analyze and like as i have said copy paste is not a method so copy you just need to copy whole the thing like you do in desktop or laptop just you need to select whole the area by selecting the beam cursor after that copy and make it paste okay if you want some displacement in horizontal way then you just need to give 5 meter distance okay if you will have this as we are generally copying in this 5 meter distance difference then that's why these are having closely apart like if we want to deploy for the whole area like copy paste after that distance of 20 then you can see having some space that's it for today thank you for watching